Welcome back, my dear student. In this lecture here, we're going to be adding a registration page. And I want you to download something. To your right, you're going to find a file called registration. Let me see if I can find it right here on my desktop. Right here. So go to the to the side of your, your screen, if you're on a desktop, and download this file right here. It's going to be called registration.php.zip. Right? Unzip it. And you're going to have this registration.php there, right? So what I want you to do, I want you to go to your CMS folder. Mine is right here. And I want you to drop it in there. And we're going to be dropping it right here in the root directory. Like this. Done. All right? So now when we go to our specific site, localhost CMS, enter. Then if we type in that page name, registration.php, we don't get anything there. That's because I misspelled it. There we go. And now you're gonna, you should have something like this, all right? This is, I made all this markup here for you, and we are going to be building the functionalities, all right? So if we go back to our open brackets, okay, and go inside brackets, go to your CMS, directory and here's somewhere you should find your registration right here let me just double click it so I can have it up here in my working files and this is the page right here all right as you can see let me just make this a little smaller it looks better when you have it in a high resolution right so this is all the markup that I made here for you and that way you we don't have to spend 20 minutes doing this and then on the next video we're gonna start building the functionality of this page um, I want to also encrypt whatever information. We want to clean the information uh, with my SQL escape string, right? With my SQLI real escape string. So we want to clean the information before it goes to the database. The second thing we want to do is encrypt the password that is going inside the database. That way you, we can make this hacker proof. Right, so all this information will be going to the database, and then it's gonna go to the, our administration area where we can allow this user inside or not allow them inside, or we can register them as a regular user or maybe as an admin user. We can do whatever we want as long as we have the information. So the next lectures are gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, I think it's gonna. This is something very useful, just in case you have a live website on the on the online and you want to allow users to register for your website, all right? So anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture, and i see you in the next one.